2 News Oklahoma Sports. Lots on the line. You know, you're playing for, again, a trophy. Who knows if we're going to, how many more times, if at all, uh, we'll play. That's spicy. The Bedlam Trophy made the trip back to Norman and it isn't leaving town. But for how long? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. We've seen some crazy Bedlam games in the past, and last night was just another version of it. The Sooners jumping out to an early lead and then setting the cruise control to a 28-13 win. OU scoring on four of their first six drives, putting up 28 points, the most ever in the first quarter against their in-state rival. The win brings with it a trophy and maybe some momentum heading into the final week. Most importantly, it's win number six. Got win number six. You know, that's the, uh, no one's beating their chest. We've got a long ways to go as we build this the right way. Again, this is just another uh, opportunity, another moment for us. You know, this game, we're really, uh, again, I, th I think we have an opportunity to, uh, that we can take off. And again, we're, we've got a long ways to go, but, you know, tonight was definitely a step in the right direction. I mean, that, you know, we're just setting the standard for how we should be playing, though, because they always say best is the standard. And, you know, that should be our standard every year and or every game. And, you know, that's going to be, it's going to get the momentum going into next year. Just try to instill that it's not over yet. We still got one game left. You know what I'm saying? We still want to finish this off right just because we're going bowling. That's, we're not the end of the year yet. We got one game left, one week left to finish it off strong, then go into the bowl game and finish it right. On the other end of that, the Pokes falling behind in a blink, not picking up their first first down until the Sooners hit the crimson end zone twice. Meanwhile, they turn the ball over on two of the first three possessions, both Spencer Sanders interceptions. From there, the Pokes held Pat, though, and gave themselves something to build on. They hit us on a couple good plays on offense, and as I said, we turned the ball over twice and gave them short in, short fields. And then uh, from that point on, uh, yes, we played as good, if not better, football than they did. But unfortunately, they count the first quarter. Man, it's, it's all about leadership. Um, you know, leaders in our group. You know, for example, Brock Martin. You know, he he said no matter what the score is, like we're not gonna we're not giving up. Like we we are gonna work. You know, this whole game and and fight. And you know, as a group, you know, that's what brings the group together. And I think you know that's kind of why you know the switch turned on. Um, you know, a guy like that, man. He man, I die for that dude. So. You know, I think the whole defense would, and, and that's kind of, you know, it showed. You know, we just lost, so uh, obviously down. But yeah, me personally, I'm proud of the guys, you know. Um, from inside, I feel like uh, this wasn't like Kansas or Kansas State. Those losses that we had, you know, we fought to the end. And that's all you can ask for. They wrap up the season at home against West Virginia. We're back with Mayor's Cup basketball after this. <laughs>